Hello, my name is Sayed Imran and today Team C will be presenting to Parks Canada for our EV charging trailer project. The problem statement provided to us was that we had to design an EV charging trailer that could charge the mowers as well as few landscaping tools such as grass trimmer, a hedge trimmer and chainsaw and other landscaping tools. And the main concern for the client for the deliverables was charging requirement such as charging speed as well as other safety concerns around our design of the trailer. So the aspects that we considered were dimension constraints. This was as per the government of PEI's regulations. In addition, the client also had requested the length of the trailer to be under 18 feet or 5.5 meters, which we did achieve. In addition, we also considered weight balancement and tongue weight through the help of free body diagrams, moment calculation, and other use of literature and research. Sustainable materials were also carefully selected after identifying the most beneficial materials for the environment, which are also available at an affordable rate, as well as abundantly available at the proximity markets around PEI. Moreover, safety features were also an extreme emphasis by the team. The team ensured that the trailer was safe to operate and is well equipped in case of any unforeseen circumstances. The layout design was very carefully considered to be ergonomic and all items such as mowers and other tools were conveniently accessible for the employees. Charging capacity and speed of all accessory and mowers was also taken into account to ensure that the EV trailer can efficiently charge all the tools and movers. The axle type and positioning was also finalized after careful consideration of the weight requirement as well as other industry standards. The wheel size was also decided using a similar approach. These are a few of our full scale prototype as well as our small scale prototypes which are our proof of concepts. So over here we have a full scale prototype which we made which is essentially a fully scaled prototype with this being our shelf. We have a mover here and a mover here which we will talk further about in the video. For the small scale prototype as well we made it out of wood which also mimics the same full scale prototype. The project achievements were that we met all the required deliverables that the client had requested from us and in addition the three top benefits our design has are that it saves labor in labor cost and productivity, employee ergonomics and accessibility was a top priority, and safety was carefully taken into account to ensure employee and other stakeholders' well-being when the trailer is being used. We will further explore and discuss our project's deliverable throughout the rest of the video. The trailer we have 5.5 meters and for the height of the trailer it's 2.2 meters and for the width it's 2.6 meters this will be a closed trailer with a back ramp as tall as the height of the trailer so that we can move in and move out the ramps easily so for the layout we have a simple layout over here where this is the front and then this is the back end of the trailer at the front right, right side of the trailer we have one mover over here parked and then we have the other mover in the opposite side right over here at the back left side and then we have this shelf which stores all our accessories as well as the accessory chargers. And then we have this nice passage over here just for the employee to walk and an empty space over here. For the charging we have three grass trimmers, one hedge trimmer and one chainsaw. And this compartment will be for the charging for all of the accessories. And the bottom compartment will be the charging ports for the mowers which are the two batteries. And for the top we have like an extra space for you guys. So the weight of the trailer when it's unloaded, it's 2,100 kilos approximately. And then when we load it with our mowers and our accessories and accessory chargers, it's up to 3,400 kilos at maximum. And then the tongue weight, which is at the front of the trailer over here to attach it to the F-150, it's about 500 kilograms of equivalent weight. So for the wheels of the trailer, we have a tandem axle, which is 2.15 meters behind from the trailer. These are the 15 inches wheels. For the safety features, we, the first safety feature that I'll talk about is the anti-theft alarm. 
So if whenever someone wants to come in, break in and then just steal the accessories or the chargers, there's going to be an anti-theft alarm detecting that someone is trying to break in. Secondly, another safety feature we have is the safety box over here. So if an employee gets injured uh, on the job site, we have a safety kit right here to ensure that he gets the medicine or whatever aid he needs that, at that point. Finally, maneuvering this 5.5 meter trailer might be challenging for new drivers. So for that, we'll have a 360 degree surround camera to ensure that it's easy for the driver to drive around uh, tight corners. And also, my final safety feature is air ventilation. We are going to have air vents at, by the side and one on the top to ensure that there's air ventilation inside, there's appropriate temperature being optimized inside as well. Now I'll be discussing the materials used in our trailer. For the base frame, we're going to be using steel as well as the support post. They're also going to be using steel. And the base frame material consists of the longitudinal beams and the lateral cross members and the thumb. Next, in color green, we have the exterior walls, which will be 0.3 gauge aluminum. And finally, for our internal walls, flooring, and the shelves, we're going to be using 3 fourth inch of plywood, and they are here in brown. Now, we'll walk you through two Pax Canada employees working on our design trailer. The shift of two Pax Canada employee begins as they start loading the EV trailer with mowers and accessories that will be used in the job site. The employees can be seen loading the hedge trimmer. The accessory chargers being put on charge and for storage. As you guys can currently see on the screen, the grass trimmers are being loaded at the topmost compartments of the shelf. The three grass trimmers are securely put on top compartment. Finally, the heavy mower batteries are placed to charge at the bottom of the shelves. The employees have now conveniently loaded the accessories on the trailer. Further, there is an additional space at the back of the shelf for storing any further accessories and the batteries. Now, the employees have loaded the mowers into the trailer using the back ramp. Finally, the trailer is loaded and the employees are ready to drive the trailer to the job site using their Ford F-150 vehicle. As you can see, after a long 8 hour of shift, employees are removing the accessories from the shelf. However, with our configuration of the trailer, you can actually leave your mowers parked right here and also your chargers and the accessories over here can be left overnight so that they can be charged and ready for your shift next day. This means that you're saving up to one hour of your time every day in labor cost and productivity. Apart from the main issue of being able to charge and transport two mowers as well as the other accessories, we thought of being able to organize these tools in a shelf so that we won't misplace any tools. Another one is that, for example, if employees forget to charge the batteries, it'll be easier to charge it since they are located close to each other and we can just easily charge the battery for the tools that we need. However, if the employees do forget to charge the batteries, we can go over here at the back of the storage space and we can either store batteries or even use the spare batteries we have for the different tools that we need. For the convenience of all the Parks Canada employees, all of these tools could be charged in more or less five hours. Suppose these are gonna be the mower batteries, it'll be a hassle to bring such heavy stuff all the way to the back of the trailer. Instead, we can just put the mower batteries at the front and store it at the lowest area because they're really heavy. We will not want to store something heavy at the top. Apart from storing the mower batteries, we could also charge them here by having chargers connected to the Ford F-150 electric truck. I hope you liked the video. Here's the specifications.